Joseph Caiaphas, known simply as Caiaphas Hebrew, Yosef bar Kayupa Greek, Caiaphas in the New Testament, was the Jewish high priest who organized the plot to kill Jesus. Caiaphas was involved in the Sanhedrin trial of Jesus. The primary sources for Caiaphas' life are the New Testament and the writings of Josephus. Outside of his interactions with Jesus, little else is known about his tenure as high priest. Topic. Historical accounts Topic. Josephus The first-century Jewish historian Josephus is considered the most reliable extra-biblical literary source for Caiaphas. His works contain information on the dates for Caiaphas' tenure of the high priesthood, along with reports on other high priests, and also help to establish a coherent description of the responsibilities of the high priestly office. Josephus Antiquitates Judaica 18.33-35 relates that Caiaphas became a high priest during a turbulent period. He also states that the proconsul Vitellius deposed his father-in-law, Annas, Antiquitates Judaica 18.95-97. Josephus' account is based on an older source in which incumbents of the high priesthood were listed chronologically. According to Josephus, Caiaphas was appointed in AD 18 by the Roman prefect who preceded Pontius Pilate, Valerius Gratus. Joseph was the son in law of Annas, also called Ananus, the son of Seth. Annas was deposed, but had five sons who served as high priest after him. The terms of Annas, Caiaphas, and the five brothers are. Ananus or Annas, the son of Seth, six to fifteen; Eleazar, the son of Ananus, sixteen to seventeen; Caiaphas, properly called Joseph, son of Caiaphas, eighteen to thirty-six, who had married the daughter of Annas, John chapter eighteen, verse thirteen; Jonathan, the son of Ananus, thirty-six to thirty-seven and forty-four; Theophilus ben Ananus, thirty-seven to forty-one; Matthias ben Ananus, forty-three; Ananus ben Ananus, sixty-three. Topic. Caiaphas and Miriam ossuaries Topic. Caiaphas ossuary In November 1990, workers found an ornate limestone ossuary while paving a road in the Peace Forest south of the Abu Tor neighborhood of Jerusalem. This ossuary appeared authentic and contained human remains. An Aramaic inscription on the side was thought to read, Joseph son of Caiaphas and on the basis of this the bones of an elderly man were considered to belong to the high priest Caiaphas. Since the original discovery this identification has been challenged by some scholars on various grounds, including the spelling of the inscription, the lack of any mention of Caiaphas' status as high priest, the plainness of the tomb although the ossuary itself is as ornate as might be expected from someone of his rank and family, and other reasons. Topic. Miriam ossuary. In June 2011, archaeologists from Bar Ilan University and Tel Aviv University announced the recovery of a stolen ossuary, plundered from a tomb in the Valley of Elah. The Israel Antiquities Authority declared it authentic, and expressed regret that it could not be studied in situ. It is inscribed with the text, Miriam, daughter of Yeshua, son of Caiaphas, priest of Maaziah from Beth Imri. Based on it, Caiaphas can be assigned to the priestly course of Maaziah, instituted by King David. Topic. New Testament Topic. John, relations with Romans Annas, father-in-law of Caiaphas John chapter 18 verse 13, had been high priest from AD 6 to 15, and continued to exercise a significant influence over Jewish affairs. Annas and Caiaphas may have sympathized with the Sadducees, a religious movement in Judea that found most of its members among the wealthy Jewish elite. The comparatively long 18-year tenure of Caiaphas suggests he had a good working relationship with the Roman authorities. In the Gospel of John chapter 11, the high priests call a gathering of the Sanhedrin in reaction to the raising of Lazarus. In the parable related in the Gospel of Luke chapter 16 verses 28-30 the likely reaction of the five brothers to the possibility of the return of the beggar Lazarus has given rise to the suggestion by Claude Joseph Driou and others that the rich man is itself an attack on Caiaphas, his father-in-law, and his five brothers-in-law, Caiaphas considers, with 
the chief priests and Pharisees, what to do about Jesus, whose influence was spreading. They worry that if they let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy both our holy place and our nation. In John chapter 18, Jesus is brought before Annas, whose palace was closer. Annas questioned him regarding his disciples and teaching and sent him on to Caiaphas. Caiaphas makes a political calculation, suggesting that it would be better for one man, Jesus, to die than for the whole nation to be destroyed. In this Caiaphas is stating a rabbinic quotation Gen. R. 94-9. Afterward, Jesus is taken to Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor of Judea. Pilate tells the priests to judge Jesus themselves, to which they respond they lack authority to do so. Pilate questions Jesus, after which he states, I find no basis for a charge against him. Pilate then offers the gathered crowd the choice of one prisoner to release, said to be a Passover tradition, and they choose a criminal named Barabbas instead of Jesus. Topic. Matthew, Trial of Jesus In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 26 verses 57-67, Caiaphas and others of the Sanhedrin are depicted interrogating Jesus. They are looking for false evidence with which to frame Jesus, but are unable to find any. Jesus remains silent throughout the proceedings until Caiaphas demands that Jesus say whether he is the Christ. Jesus replies, I am, and you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power, and coming on the clouds of heaven. 14-62 Caiaphas and the other men charge him with blasphemy and order him beaten. Topic. Political implications Caiaphas was the son-in-law of Annas by marriage to his daughter and ruled longer than any high priest in New Testament times. For Jewish leaders of the time, there were serious concerns about Roman rule and an insurgent zealot movement to eject the Romans from Israel. The Romans would not perform execution over violations of Halakha, and therefore the charge of blasphemy would not have mattered to Pilate. Caiaphas' legal position, therefore, was to establish that Jesus was guilty not only of blasphemy, but also of proclaiming himself the Messiah, which was understood as the return of the Davidic kingship. This would have been an act of sedition and prompted Roman execution. Topic. Acts, Peter and John refuse to be silenced. Later, in Acts 4, Peter and John went before Annas and Caiaphas after having healed a crippled man. Caiaphas and Annas questioned the apostles' authority to perform such a miracle. When Peter, full of the Holy Spirit, answered that Jesus of Nazareth was the source of their power, Caiaphas and the other priests realized that the two men had no formal education yet spoke eloquently about the man they called their Savior. Caiaphas sent the apostles away, and agreed with the other priests that the word of the miracle had already been spread too much to attempt to refute, and instead the priests would need to warn the apostles not to spread the name of Jesus. However, when they gave Peter and John this command, the two refused, saying, Judge for yourselves whether it is right in God's sight to obey you rather than God. For we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Topic. Other historical sources According to Helen Catherine Bond, there may be some references to Caiaphas in the rabbinic literature. Topic. Etymology The Babylonian Talmud Yevamot 15b gives the family name as Kuppai, while the Jerusalem Talmud Yevamot 1 mentions Nekifi. The Mishnah, Para 3-5, refers to him as Hakov, the monkey, a play on his name for opposing Mishnat Ha Hasidim. The name Caiaphas has three possible origins. As comely, in Aramaic, a rock or rock that hollows itself out kepha in aramaic a dell or a depression in akkadian topic <laughs> literature and arts topic <laughs> 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 literature In Inferno, Dante Alighieri places Caiaphas in the sixth realm of the eighth circle of hell, where hypocrites are punished in the afterlife. His punishment is to be eternally crucified across the hypocrite's path, who eternally step on him. 
Caiaphas is mentioned throughout the works of William Blake as a byword for a traitor or Pharisee. Caiaphas and his ossuary are the subjects of Bob Hostetler's novel, The Bone Box Caiaphas is mentioned in the 19th verse of the Ballad of Reading Jail by Oscar Wilde. <laughs> Arts He is also shown as influencing Pontius Pilate in passing the death sentence against Jesus in The Master and Margarita by Bulgakov. Film portrayals Actors who have portrayed Caiaphas include Rudolf Schildkraut in Cecil B. DeMille's film King of Kings 1927, Guy Rolf in Nicholas Ray's film King of Kings 1961, Rodolfo Wilcock in Pier Paolo Pasolina's film The Gospel According to St. Matthew 1964, Martin Landau in George Stevens' film The Greatest Story Ever Told 1965, Bob Bingham in Norman Jewison's film Jesus Christ Superstar 1973, Anthony Quinn in Franco Zeffirelli television miniseries Jesus of Nazareth 1977, Mattia Sabraja in Mel Gibson's film The Passion of the Christ 2004, Bernard Hepton in Son of Man play, Adrian Schiller in the TV miniseries The Bible 2013, and the film Son of God 2014, both by same production team, and Richard Coyle in NBC's miniseries by Mark Burnett and Roma Downey A.D. The Bible continues. References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Joseph Caiaphas. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton. Sources Metzger, Bruce M. Ed. 1993. Michael D. Coogan, ed. The Oxford Companion to the Bible. Oxford, UK, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-504645-5, CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link. Bond, Helen Catherine 2004. Caiaphas, Friend of Rome and Judge of Jesus, Louisville, Westminster John Knox. ISBN 0-664-22332-X. Netbible, Caiaphas Topic. External links The Ossuary of Joseph Caiaphas Images of the Ossuary of Caiaphas <laughs>